The Ocean Wave Epoxy Coffee Table was truly a project of passion and conquest for new software and equipment. We ended up designing the layout in Illustrator and bringing it down into a digestible segment for the Glowforge. So based on the size requirements, we ended up breaking it down into 12 segments that would end up being 48 inches by 24 inches wide. You can see the Glowforge doing an immaculate job. And then, honestly, when we first saw the printer finish, the first one, we knew it was going to be a hit. So we did have some problems with matching everything up exactly. Glowforge, although the visual interface is there, did offer some challenges that we ended up overcoming with adding a eighth inch around each piece. So a little bit of reformatting the artwork and that really took care of it. So you can kind of see how we manufactured each one of these pieces and had to literally puzzle it back together. Um, looked beautiful as we were creating it. Each piece, because I think people will ask, took about an hour with the basic Glowforge. Blew up offered a little bit more challenge because of the time it took. Uh, in between projects we ran this and it just ended up being a few months where really when you're dealing with organic matter you should just go ahead and try knocking it out, out as fast as possible. And you can see that we laid every piece out. It really does look great when it's all segmented out. Very picturesque, futuristic looking. And when we got it glued up, put everything together, uh, we ended up repairing some issues with epoxy, certainly doing our base coat to seal everything up. And then some gaps had occurred because of the wood just changing the temperature and bending a little bit. So we had some corrections um, that again, weren't anticipated, but overall didn't end up being that great of a challenge. Um, you can see we're being a little lazy here, but it's two inches and we just used two cards in each sign to offset it. The bottom of the table was stained black. And I can't say enough about using those stoppers for the drill bits, honestly. You should use them because I can't tell you how defeating it is to drill a hole completely through a finished project. And you know, a little bit of fun with the camera and going over the uh, bottom there. It just looks great. I'm just screwing in the pin legs. We had a suggestion from one of our followers, which was great. profile below. She is a wonderful artist. Uh, and we went to the studio and just took some nice shots of the finished product. Uh, nothing crazy with our lights, but we do uh, have a production area that we're fortunate to have in our building that we end up, you know, being able to do all the lighting and do take the appropriate shots and video of it. Um, as you can see, overall, the distance the pattern looks great um, if you got real close up on it you probably see some minor issues here and there but overall we're very happy with the end product i hope you guys uh, liked it as well and if you have questions uh, just leave them in the comments i'll make sure to answer everything as well as jamie and wish you guys the best on both your epoxy glow forge design 